Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. And on this one, we're going in a little different direction. I want to talk about music. I want to talk about music. So, I remember when I was in Texas, there was, uh, I used to work at this one uh, factory. And there was kind of like a dispute slash disagreement about which music era did people wanted to hear. But it was weird because all the younger people who rather had heard their music, they didn't complain a whole lot about the 80s music they played for 12 hours straight. And you know I didn't have no complaints because that's my favorite genre of music anyway is 80s. The music I listen to, I listen to stuff from a couple things from the 60s. But I, not too much because I always think about how they used to do us back then. So I really don't get off into it. Uh, but mainly the 70s and the 80s and like early 90s. Like, y'all know it's the same thing as as the sports when I said that my favorite era was between 80 and 1997. Well, I would say the same thing for music. Like, my favorite era of music is from 1980, you could say the 70s, until like right around 97, it, it kind of changed. Um, I would say right around 98. It's weird how when it came to music, when it came to movies, when it came to sports, it seemed like stuff started changing a little bit right around 98. I don't know what it was about that 1998 year, but stuff just started changing. But I want to ask y'all, like, what's y'all favorite genre of music? I still listen to 80s music. Like, I would say 80% of the music I listen to is from the 80s. Maybe 10% from the 70s. Uh, and 10% from the 90s but I mostly listen to 80s music like you looking at me you wouldn't believe it like some of the songs that I like to play uh, but in terms of music and I listen to jazz a little gospel uh, but I don't really get off into too much of this stuff now a couple of them is kind of catchy you know, out, out of this, I would say out of this 2000 era from 2000 to 2023, it's probably like maybe 15 songs that I like and that I'll play. Some of them I don't need to play, but they are kind of catchy. Um, but I'm wondering, like, what, what's your favorite job? I, I want to see. How many people would come on here and say that they like today's music better? You know, and it's weird how music today has more of a negative effect than the music that we listen to, even even though it was some stuff going on with that, too. And with those people, it just seemed like the music from today has more of a negative effect on people. You know, in the 80s, it was like mostly love, music, relationship, whether it was white 80s, black 80s. It was it was like I be watching Rick Asley. I remember Rick Asley like and I, I, I be telling my kids like you see how he was on the phone with a girl. I mean, that's how it was back then. People would talk on the phone like for hours, practically till they fall asleep back in the early 90s, the 80s, stuff like that. You know, but now everything text. Hey, how you doing? No, no, no. Okay, if you if you in a stationary place, like you in a stationary place where you can talk, like why would you text? Like texting to me sometimes can be antisocial. Like you're not trying to be social. Like some people, that's like as antisocial as you know how people uh, uh, click like or hurt your stuff, but they won't say nothing. That's antisocial too. Like this is the antisocial generation. And I think 
that's why a lot of people from our generation don't really get off into a lot of the music. You go most grocery stores, malls, even state fair stuff like that. You gonna hear eighties, eighties, eighties music, eighties music, because eighties music really kind of relaxes people. That's why you hear it in grocery stores. Though. You can't play. Uh, well, I ain't gonna name nobody. I'm, I'm gonna stay on call. I ain't gonna do them like that, you know. But you can't play certain people in grocery stores. You just can't. It's gonna, it's gonna create like a wild environment. That's why you don't really hear rock music playing in grocery stores. Like you might hear rock music on like a Madden or a video game get you pumped up and stuff like that. You might even hear mumble rap on the video game, but you ain't going to hear it in grocery stores because they want you to relax. They want you to spend money, so on and so forth. And they don't want nobody to get robbed. So let me tell you something. Well, I'm, I'm going to talk about that later. I'm going to talk about that later. But I just wanted to touch on this music thing. What's your favorite uh, era of music? Uh, you know, this is the All Subjects channel. We talk about everything over here. And, you know, music is still just as important to me as it was when I was a kid. Like, you know what I was listening to earlier? I was listening to Kraftwerks. Remember them Tour de France? We used to break dance off of that. I was listening to that early. Tour de France, Tour de France. Some of y'all too young. You're just too young. You're too young. You don't know what I'm talking about. But I guarantee you, people older than me and close to my age remember the scene from Breaking when he had the broom and he was playing the Kraftwerks Tour de France. But some of y'all, you know, yeah, it's okay to be young, man. It's okay. It's just, I be correcting them when they start trying to act like stuff is better now. Yeah, some of the technology, but even the technology for our day, like in the 80s, 90s, that was good technology. Like the music on the video games. And for our day, that was good technology. It was kind of like the equivalent of your technology today. But anyway... Tell me what you think in the comments. Hit the like button. Uh, share, subscribe. We talk about everything over here. We're going to make this a real channel. Like something, a channel like, like I practically will have a TV guide on this channel if everything worked right. Where you see this at this time, this at this time, this at this time. That's what I'm trying. I really shouldn't be saying it because, you know, the bigger YouTubers be on their troll accounts trying to copy off people. But, hey, man. Hey, man, I got enough brain for the both of us, man. It's okay. I'll uh, see y'all later on with more videos, so stay tuned.